All right, devlog number one. Take how many times this has been already? Like 15, I don't know. So uh, I met this um, game dev from uh, a game dev Discord called Game Dev League. And it was about our second meeting when we talked to each other or whatever is when I decided to reach out to him because first time just getting to know everybody and uh, he seemed interested in me and he liked my art style and whatnot and I was like cool and uh, at some point he said he wanted to commission me one day uh, and I was like awesome and then uh, uh, second time after that uh, I just yeah went into negotiations with him see what we can do about uh, the commissions or whatever or whatever i i checked out his game smug force is what it's called uh all in one word and you will see later on anyway how it's how it's spelled if you don't under if you don't already know how it's spelled <laughs> but in any case though uh i i go and give him a sketch this is it and he liked what he saw okay it and it was uncolored too um so it looked like it looked like this and then after coloring it he's like oh oh i okay uh could you make some changes here and there uh and we didn't even have a contract at that time yet and so yeah i was uh I, I wasn't i wasn't sure about going any further myself because i mean making revisions in the first place i mean again this is this was a sketch like i would have done a more uh, more uh revisions myself anyway but like you know to the way that I want to, the revisions. For example, this leg is too long. That's like one thing that I would uh, start uh, start off with anyway. But in any case, uh, so yeah, he wanted revisions in a different direction, and uh, he he wasn't gonna commission because he just like straight up tells me uh, I uh, I don't have any money, you know, so. Right now, I'm tight on money, so I can't uh, do any commissions. And I was like, oh, well, uh, I like your game, and uh, how I'd like to work with you, uh, work for you or whatever. But uh, so we don't have to do commissions. I saw in uh, the server that there is such a thing as rev share. So I was like, how about let's just, you know, set up a contract for rev share or whatever uh, and I also expressed my interest for the game I told them like straight up uh, I believe in your game I that's that's like I just I believe that it is a great game uh, or you know it has potential to be a good game and I want to see it uh, released I want to see it out I want to see uh, that it it sees uh it's it makes its way into completion okay like anybody would want success for the game that they uh believe in right but uh i can't necessarily hope for that <laughs> because uh that is something that's up to uh people in general but in any case so they get a contract going in three weeks in and uh, during that time, we're just like chatting away and talking about stuff and like related to Smug Force and what what can be done for the game and whatnot. See what I can do and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I just like I just throw out everything I can really. I I, I try to throw out some marketing and whatnot. And uh, at the end of the day. Um, even if I wanted to focus on marketing, it's just not possible <laughs> because because just doing art in itself does take uh, quite a bit. Um, so here is the official artwork, okay? 
And I do believe I have uh, made some changes. So actually, I'm just going to go ahead and not save that and then open it up again. As you can see here, I have a lot of uh, stuff going on and whatnot. There's an arcade floor tile and background and ca uh, cat pin texture, uh, smug icon, smug logo too. Yeah, so I've actually done quite a bit uh, and it shows here. But yeah, so uh, all that stuff and the capsule art is the one that definitely took the most time but at the same time uh, I did all this in between so for example the smug icon uh, this I just did myself but it's just the face everything else is still like as it was before but I changed the face because this is what the face was before and I thought that it could look cuter I was like how about how about we make it cuter? <laughs> I, I, wa I want I want it to be cuter, <laughs> cause you know this is fine and all, with the with the two tangerines and all that. But uh, I think that it could do uh, it could be better. Which actually I could show in the capsule art. Hmm. Let's see. Opening up would is gonna take a little bit. So usually, uh, files would open up within a few seconds, like two, one to three seconds. This one took like 10 seconds or something because that's just how much stuff it has to load. Uh, but yeah, so if I go down here, yeah, you can see it, okay. But in any case, uh, going up the list, you see layer 89 for one thing, okay? And I saw some 170 or something yeah, but uh, it was it's not just 170 layers. And then there's some folders where it's like it's closed folders, so there's uh, quite a few um, layers in that and in, in these closed folders. That is, but yeah. So some some might only have like one, but you know it's just organizational purposes. If it, if it only has one or something. Uh, yeah, there's like a lot to take in really. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Going through maybe some mistakes. Uh, I'll just go through uh, this. So <clears throat> this is where it starts. Uh, after, after settling the contract, we finally get to work. And the uh, first thing we do is he wants a different sliding from this and he wants it something like this he creates a mock-up he uh using using his unity engine and his uh game deving prowess he creates a mock-up within like five minutes or something and uh he just like he puts in a, a clear background or whatever nothing nothing behind just to uh, get a clear visual of uh, this character. Her name is Karuru. But yeah, so uh, he, he decides that he wants it something like this. And he even, like, <laughs> he always shows other uh, games to give a reference of, uh, of a mood board, basically, of what he would want. And, uh, you know, he, looked f he would look for other sliding uh kind of pose in capsule arts uh and yeah so he would do that uh and uh, i'm supposed to use them as reference and whatnot too so i did and i noticed that uh the difference between his art and the capsule arts in the references that do have slides their uh slides are more vertical uh this one is too horizontal, so uh, I already couldn't use it uh, to the fullest extent, I guess, uh, that I could. But yeah, uh, as you can see, there's some comments. It's like, the shoe sole was my idea about how, like, you should show off, the, uh, like, uh, we should show off the feet because um, it's just... 
Yeah, like I think that'd be better anyway. Um, having having the entire body show. It's like why 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 just leave out the feet kind of thing was my was my reasoning, uh, and some other reason. Um, but in any case, dress is dragging against the ground. So like here, it's not dragging against the ground. So he has to make that comment. Thai physics also, you know, he has to make that comment because it's like you he can't recreate uh, physics. Uh, with with the model as it is, I guess. Uh, but in any case, uh, he would want it. He want he'd want the uh, tie flying anyway. It's flying somewhere around this direction, and then uh, take out one of the bad uh, the pins that are on the hat. Leave out the the smug the smug pin, uh, because it's just like it doesn't look good uh, from a from this kind of profile. Uh, Jitome eyes. Uh, I guess just look that up because I actually don't remember the the meaning behind it. <laughs> because uh, Jitome and uh, just just Japanese terms. Actually, just terms in general. Uh, I'm not really good with. But yeah, I I mean you you'll you'll when you Google you'll you'll understand I guess or you'll at least have an idea of what it means. But it's just a certain eye shape, form, and and like expression kind of thing. And then smug on armband means that uh, he wants the smug to show on there. Right, right now it just says G fo, right? But <laughs> G fo anyway. Uh, but smug is what he he wants it to show. And then sliding sparks um, uh, is one idea. Uh, backgrounds dude silhouette so like he wants he wants some guys flying in the background and whatnot if possible but in silhouette form because uh he doesn't he doesn't want uh, them to have any kind of real attention i guess but yeah as you can see the the smug icon was like this before and out of my own volition i decided to change it and here we are. We get this as a result. Uh, one background guy is being covered by the uh, by the new logo, uh, and this took about three weeks to make. And um, this gun, I had to go through so much referencing to make, by the way. And uh, she's wearing uh, shorts under there. Uh, at least I tried to convey it in some manner, but like at the same time, I didn't want to be too uh, conspicuous, I guess, or like, is that even the word to use? Anyway, <laughs> I, didn't, I just didn't want to give it too much uh, attention, uh, but in any case, I, I did want to have to, I did want to like make it clear enough that she's running shorts. If it's not clear enough, then I guess that is what it is, uh, my failure uh, as an artist, I guess. Anyway. But as you can see, Ty, uh, like this stuff, you know, it, it's not like he had any specific uh, direction for me to go or whatever. But um, the the skirt in itself was just really hard to work with. You'll probably find that later on. I'll, I'll probably like find it somewhere. But in any case, uh, yes, we are going to break it down. Uh, and the video will be like 10 minutes longer as a result. Sorry about that. Anyway. Uh, smug on the band, uh, let's see, uh, this tie flying, uh, the eyes, um, that's, that's, uh, original, not, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, what is it called, look like this one anyway, yeah, so, um, she, she's also looking in, not completely at the viewer, while this one, uh, she is looking completely at the viewer. Uh, and as you can see, the slide is more vertical, uh, has more verticality to it, more like, um, and, and facing towards the, the, um, the audience. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I drew shoe. Um, uh, I'm not very good. I wasn't very good at drawing shoes, by the way. I've never, like, really drawn clothes uh, that, like, to, like, a full clothing uh, set 
aspect anyway. Maybe like all I do, all I did, all I've really done was like draw maybe a jacket, a uh, shirt, skirt, shorts, uh, pants, but uh, but shoes I was really bad with. Um, and that and and the and the beanie hat thingy was also very new to me. And you know about the uh, gun, and then just this uh, sliding, um, posing, and and the uh, angle, and what is it? The four, four something. Uh, I always forget the terms. See, uh, I'm not very good with terms. <laughs> but in any case, there's there's a word for like. Uh, when when you have to like make certain things that are at the front bigger and things at the back smaller kind of thing right but yeah it was for something i just don't remember what comes after that <laughs> it do be like that but in any case uh and then the background well i just told him uh after after we finished making her and uh and my little edit to the logo uh, you know, I, I was like, yeah, we need a background. This is not, this, uh, it's not, uh, maybe, maybe he said we needed a background. I forgot which one of us it was, but we both knew that it was lackluster. That's all that really matters. Um, without a background that is. Uh, and so we, and so I suggested to him the gas station because we were looking pretty frantically and, and uh, I remember the gas station in our three weeks negotiation, you know, before the contract. That was during that time we talked about Sonic Force, but he not just not just talking about it. He showed me what he had in the game, and like uh, and stuff that you know he he put aside for now or he like put away and is and never to be used again, kind of thing, right? And, uh, and yeah, it was, uh, it was good. It was good. Uh, so getting that gas station and then this was the top view of the gas station if I ever needed it. But yeah, so I didn't really need it though. Um, I, I didn't know what, how to use it to be honest, to be quite honest with you. But yeah, so we use the background. Uh, we use this for the background and then let's see if I can like, I don't know. So I'm going to start breaking it down now and let's see if, uh, not break it down, more like just disappear. But uh, yeah, I did, I did some outlining, I did some blurring, uh, I did some reshaping and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, oh, here it is. Ah, yes, the original. Okay. Yeah, so this was the original background. As you can see, like there's like all this uh, gravel and stuff and it doesn't really fit with Karuru. So we're trying to make the background fit more with Karuru. And I also have to make some edits to make it look uh, less like it was just a 3D asset thing or whatever. I forgot what it was called. Uh, there was a term for that. In any case, <laughs> always a term for everything, man. Anyway, uh, of course there would have to be though. In any case. Uh, oh, look, it's that. So uh, we were like thinking, oh, purple background, maybe? I don't know. Uh, obviously, you know, these uh, explosion lights don't, weren't here when this purple background was a thing. But yeah, we were like thinking maybe just a purple background and we tried to like uh, fit it into the capsules art and other, and other stuff like the headers and whatnot. Uh, I'll show you right now. Steam game templates. So as you can see, there's like all kinds of templates and there's store capsule header two header or is it header two? No, just one header. Uh, there's a store capsule vertical, store capsule small, store page background, store, page, store capsule main. And they all like look very different from each other anyway. Also, this, these are not um, the ones that are that you'll see in the Steam store store. Uh, he decided to just, uh, take it by his own liberties to, uh, 
to fit it in however he uh, thinks that it should look for the for all these sections and I uh, got and just got my opinion on them and like uh, you know it's like oh her arm gets covered and stuff uh, do you think that looks fine or whatever and like we were just like yeah even for stuff like that uh, the minute minute uh, detail with uh, with the positioning of the logo and her and like her angle and and stuff like that all mattered with uh, how how to go about making it look good basically in all these little um, uh, styles and whatnot uh, and yeah like. Um, let's see what else now. So moving on from that, I already told you enough. It's just like open up a few things here and there and whatnot. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, more. Exp this is uh, every time you see something like this, it's uh experimental stuff, just to like see how things will go or test things out or to maybe to understand better what I'm working with, kind of thing. But yeah, uh, and. Uh, for sure, there were still like uh, a lot of revisions that had to be done or whatever. Uh, yeah, I can go ahead and take that out. Yeah. So as you can see, like things are gradually disappearing as I make them hide and whatnot. But that, that's just like showing you like all kinds of minute details. And as you can see, there was uh, a. Uh, uh, a lighting thing. So uh, I had issue with lighting, and I just told them straight up, uh, "I need, I need. Can you like mock up some lighting, some orange lighting, so for me to use, so that I can have like a better idea of how I'm gonna do this whole exploding in the background thing." But yeah, so he, that's why he gave me this, and uh, you know. Uh, one can argue that that lighting could have been uh, a route to go for because it's quite different from this one anyway. But at the same time, we decided not to. Uh, I do remember now is just because we wanted people to uh, perceive this character in the um, capsule art, which, you know, is like the front box art of a, of a game. But yeah, uh, we want to we want everybody to perceive her by her, uh, I don't know, true colors, I guess, or uh, as uh, even though like the way that I color her is actually completely different from the game, but like it would still like if it if it if it if it took this route, then it, she would not then her face face color her hair color would be very different. That's the thing. So we wanted to like make sure that that was conveyed uh, with properly anyway. But yeah, so that's that. And then there's like some of these. So I actually made this completely from scratch. No, no uh, reference or anything. Yeah, I just did that uh, all by myself. And uh, I guess like using this as a reference, but like, you know, it's a complete original pose and whatnot. But yeah, he's like flying upside down with his butt up. <laughs> but yeah, I made that myself. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ah, yes, here are the guns. So, handgun reference. And uh, I have more on a pure ref anyway. But yeah, this took quite a while to make. Many iterations. Just anything that took a while to make that it was hard for me. Uh, they take a, they took about 10 reiterations. And what that means by reiterations is that I had to keep redrawing it and keep like reforming it. And, uh, you know, just drawing the gun, gun itself, I've never like fully completed, I guess, to this degree, but also the angle. Okay. Once again, angle, uh, like that four thing that I completed. Don't do not remember the term of. Uh, there was also this little uh, controversy with uh, the gunshot. 
uh, whether it should like have a blast coming out of it because it doesn't shoot a, a real bullet. It's supposed to uh, represent a toy gun, but at the same time, it still has a lot of impact to like, uh, to just like, what is it called? Uh, put down an enemy by just like making them unconscious basically is, is the idea of it. But in any case, kid-friendly game, kid-friendly game. Anyway, um, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, so that makes that disappear. I'm just looking at the, um, this navigator, yeah. Ah, yes, uh, Ty, Ty, that one also took many reiterations to get to this point. But yeah, that's the life of an artist, man. It, it may look simple, but it actually took quite a journey just to get to this point. But yeah, uh, let's see here. What else? What is this folder too? So what I will do is I'm gonna use Control T. Okay, so yeah, uh, there's like more stuff here, but I don't know what they are. I'm just gonna go ahead and show all of them. And then what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see here. So we got all that. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's see what happens if I move them around. Okay, yeah, so there you go. There you go. As you can see here, you know, uh, this was the very first uh, iteration of posing. Yeah, that's what it was. And uh, rough idea and all that, right? Uh, do believe me when I say that all this is very necessary, whether you think it's perverted or what uh, it is necessary, no matter how you uh, vi uh, see it, I guess. <laughs> so even if you're not a pervert, right, you do need this. I mean, it, just think of those nude, um, nude model uh, drawings or whatever, like, uh, it's always going to be necessary even in college and whatnot. So you never, you'll never escape the whole nudity thing. But uh, yeah, in this case, is uh, this is like not even as extreme at all. This is literally just shaping out, uh, 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 what is it called? Idea of, of, uh, of how it should look, I guess, right? So it's like a very rough design kind of thing. And uh, shouldn't really think anything of it uh, if if one were to think something of it anyway. Not that uh, it's like it's just some lines that's all <laughs> at the end of the day. Like I don't know if, I don't know who who would think of what, but I'm just trying. I'm just making sure that you know nobody gets the wrong idea. I guess like if if I'm drawing for pervy purposes, I'll let you know. You know what I mean? Like. Uh, cause I, I am quite blatant, blatant about it. I like, I don't actually, I don't hide anything. I don't, I don't do that kind of thing. I'm very honest and not only that. As an artist, you have to be honest. But as you can see here, uh, start with the general body outline. So, you know, here I am like just, uh, tracing it just to like get a feel for how to go about the gun. And uh, and how it's supposed to be shaved and like and uh, like how it gets lined and whatnot, and then here I'm deciding on the angle and what and uh, how much of that uh, thing uh, the four whatever anyway, uh, but yeah, so that's that. So that's what I would try to do and stuff. Let's see what this is. Ah, there's the face. Yeah. It actually looks a little bit different, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, first, uh, first iteration of the smug face. Uh, <coughs> I really do like this one, anyway. I do, but the thing was that uh, it wasn't it wasn't working for a, a post as a poster. Um, I do believe I did color it too. So, like as a poster, it doesn't do really well. Uh, take my word for it anyway, uh, because I mean, if I did, if I, if I think it looks good and it doesn't need to be changed, why would I change it? Kind of thing, right? But in any case, had to be changed. 
so I had to make her um, show more show more of this side of her face. So that's that. But yeah, uh, lots of goody goodies that you'll never see ever. By the way, you will never see these in the day of light, and this is the only way that I could ever show it. <laughs> but in any case, uh, as you can see here, once again, deciding on the general detail, uh, general posing and whatnot. And I just remembered uh, he was talking about silhouette, silhouette shaping. It's like, what silhouette would look good? You know, it's like if, if the silhouette looks good, then you're then you're then you're on the right track. But if their sil if if their silhouette looks bland or whatever, or it doesn't look good, then then you gotta like go back to the drawing board because the silhouette is like everything is what is how he feels about it. And so I follow his direction, go along with it, and I'll see what see what outcomes like comes out of it. And uh, you know, I mean, it does it does look fine like. I can't. I can't exactly make this all look uh, silhouette. I guess um, maybe. Let me just see. Maybe if I did the color. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I tried anyway. I tried. I was just trying to see if I can like make it all black or uh, just so I can just so you get a better look of the silhouette as it is now because this is. Uh, just a uh, posing body kind of silhouette, and that's not really the whole look and whatnot. So here, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, whoops, sorry. Anyway, uh, what I did was I just like traced the entire reference uh, that, that was like down here anyway, and then I uh, turned that into a silhouette, and I was like, huh, I wonder how it looks as a silhouette, because once again, you know, um, I'm very new to all this, so I I there's a lot of things that that has to be done before I can get to this point, because I've never done this any of this before. Uh, most I've ever done was just like as an artist, just yeah, just uh, a lot. It's a lot less than this. Very simple, very simple. I mostly uh, focus on body shape and face and facial expressions and face and face shapes and stuff like that like it's just shapes of things how they would look in any case oh look uh, this is uh this, it, it had this like f um after shot of heat heating thing right like uh that that's that's where he it was he was like saying oh yeah it's not a real gun so don't don't like do this because it's it's, it's uh, getting that hot and whatnot means that it's a real gun, and we don't want people to uh, think that it's a real gun, cause uh, yeah, it, it, there's no there's no blood in this game and whatnot. So he wants to try to uh, keep that in mind. What was it? I forgot what the term was once again, but it's basically you know uh, making sure that the kids get uh, what they see, kind of thing. In any case, though, um, and and like what 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 visual, what's the visual right? It's like um, you you don't see blood. You do see violence, but you won't see blood. <laughs> uh, was this this game's rated thirteen PG? I guess thirteen plus PG in the USA. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah. So I I did use that for reference, like. All these things very necessary to to get to the final result. Ah, there it is. Ah, uh, my references. I mean, not my references. Sorry, I'm by like my smug uh, logo stuff. Yes, yes. Um, let's see here. Oh well, whatever. I'll just go back here and then take that out and then take that one out. Oh, that's like a lot of stuff that I would have to take out. Anyway. But yeah, I just wanted you to get a little okay. But yeah, uh, in the uh, so he has a smug for server, and very few people active there. But in any case, uh, that's what that's how this came about. This whole vote the ones you like, uh, uh, but your vote doesn't matter, haha. -ha. And then like I put the actual, 
uh, the actual smug icon that we will that we will be going for. Like I got his approval and everything already, so now I'm just like having fun uh, seeing uh, what the people liked anyway. I do believe that most chose seven. Yeah, so seven was uh, the people's favorites um, by by um, by just like one vote. You know, it's like everything else got uh, everything else that would have that could have made it was like two votes, and this one got three. So it just barely beat the others. <laughs> In any case, though, uh, yeah, it all started. It started with this one. Uh, actually, it was this one. I, it started with this. And then I was like, man, this is too creepy kind of thing. Or like, it's not cute enough. So I, so I make it look, I, I, I do this one now. And I was like, oh, I really like this one. Uh, and then he, he's like, oh, no, I don't know. I don't like that. I mean, I, I, want, I, I, I had a certain smug uh, in mind. Uh, and he shows me a picture of this plushie with a, sm uh, a little smuggy face or whatever. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so I just uh, I took in I took inspiration from that and just uh, made this off of off of that idea, and so uh, this is his uh, to his liking, you know. So uh, that's how, that's why we changed. Uh, we were that's why he it got the approval of the change because you know this old one looks nothing like the the the. Uh, the plushy that he likes the face of, but this one does represent it a lot. Uh, it does have uh, a lot of um, what do you call it? Uh, sim uh, very, it's very similar. Yes, yes, very similar. Anyway, um, but yeah, honestly though, if it were me, I would have went for this or this one, either of these, because like I like the whole. <clears throat> I like this little action going on, which by the way, this was by accident. I did not. I did not do this on purpose. <laughs> like I accidentally made this mouth, and I do not think I could recreate it. <laughs> but in any case, I, I say that, but I could probably actually recreate it if I try hard enough. Anyway, point is, I did this, uh, and I really like the face, uh, and it's really cute uh, to me. But yeah, like this was the original intent, and this is just like a happy little accident kind of thing. Uh, and yeah, if it were me. The face would look like this uh, on Smug Force. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But in any case, you don't get everything you want kind of thing. Uh, but not only that, I, I, I never really got what I wanted. Actually, uh, I, there were a lot of revisions that I had to be made for, for, the, for the game devs' uh, liking anyway. And I would do my best to uh, see it through. And, uh, you know, lo and behold, I do do a better job than expected. And uh, that's, that's, the, that's, that's what's important in all of this, right? But uh, I do think that maybe he did, like, uh, still saw something else that he would have wanted. But uh, that's the best that I could do kind of thing. And, I mean, uh, 2D artists, they don't, like, they don't... They never really go by the vision of the guy that's commissioning. It's just their style in, and, uh, and, and the commissioner get what they paid for kind of thing. You know, this is, this is their style and they can't. Uh, usually, you would not have more than like two revisions for a commission anyway. And for this... Very many revisions, very many uh, uh, redos and whatnot, very very many reiterations. But in any case, back to this, uh, the cape, the 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 over the jacket flap, back flap thingy. Uh, which, by the way, I just uh, never mind. Anyway, point is though, this is how I saw the whole sliding thing because I didn't I didn't really know like. The, this this cape, uh, just imagine that. Um, actually, no, the, the the sliding pose was already done for anyway. But in any case, I, I imagined it like this, and I just like try to make it lower, and I didn't really know. So I decided, how about you create a mock up of how you envision it? And he did his best with like paint.net or whatever, 
Uh, and so it was around this area, and then I worked with that. You know, it's like every time I come back to this guy, he still wants he still wants something else with this cape with this uh, back uh, flap thing, and I just don't know what it is. So I was like, why not just uh, have him do it himself? Just just like do some do something, cause I mean, if I'm not getting it the first three times, I don't. Uh, and I'm kind of stumped. Then, yeah, just uh, just show me what you got, because um, after three times, even he should have an idea by now, uh, because he I, there's the way that you get to the the thing that is uh, satisfactor satisfactorily correct, I guess. I'm not using that word correctly, but in any case, point is. The way to get there is to make a lot of mistakes so you know what not to do and then you would get the right thing after all that any, anyway um, it's the same everywhere any case um, but yeah so uh, there's that and then cause like the jacket used to not actually be this far down it actually like would like go all the way uh, up here and like, therefore, it showed more inner shirt, anyway. Uh, but yeah, the because I mean, sliding at such a high velocity, I mean, normally, the 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 jacket should not stay intact like this. But he wanted the silhouette thing. Uh, he wanted it to look good as a silhouette, and he does not consider my idea to be looking good in a silhouette. So, uh, that is how that ended up that way. Yes? But in any case, though, uh, let's see here. Going back to this stuff. Yeah, so that's that for that. That was fun to look at. Um, was that everything? There's no way, right? In any case, let's see what's, what I'm going to make this appear now. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, so that's that. Yeah, okay, true. There you go. That's where I was. I was over there. Okay, true, true. I believe that I've already gone through some of these. So yeah, I'm just gonna make all these things like, I'm just gonna throw all these things out just to like show you like that hat sketch and whatnot, right? Uh, yeah, at the end of the day, I really am an artist. <laughs> I just didn't know it. Uh, I'm just kidding. I, 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 I mean, before this, I've been practicing uh, my art. I've been like um, honing it for like quite a few months. So it's not like this just came out of nowhere kind of thing. Um, but yeah, just gonna, it, it doesn't matter if things disappear, but like you, by, by them disappearing, you'll see that they were like put into parts and whatnot, right? And uh, you'll see like some some uh, uh, lighting effects detail stuff that gets uncovered and whatnot, right? And like these rocks and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, art techniques and all that. Yeah, slowly making it disappear, uh, dust to dust or whatever, something edgy like that. <laughs> uh, in any case, though, that I think that's it. Yeah, so. Going through all, the, I've gone through all the sketches, and now you're just seeing like some of the processes. Oh, there you go. So some uh, lighting practice stuff. So uh, there's like the original uh, lighting of the hair, the mock up. Yeah, mock up. There you go. But yeah, and uh, obvious, and it had like different colors and whatnot, and like I had to uh, decide on the colors like that. Oh, look at it, just how. Look at how detailed the lining is. Ooh. Mm, I like that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, all right. Enough of that. But yeah, I've been ha I was having a lot of fun with this. I'm sorry if this takes too long and whatnot, but I hope that you uh, like what you see in terms of the process and uh, what it had to go through and why it took three weeks kind of thing, right? Uh, and you're like, I'm taking the gun apart now. It's like... It's, just, it's one of those, like, the whole... You know how you can take a gun apart? And that's what this is. <laughs> but, in, like, in a drawing. I'm, it's, like, uh, just... Yeah. And there's that gunfire shot that I told you about that got 
uh, basically rejected anyway. And then here, here's a bullet, and uh, 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 there was like so somebody made a comment about the bullet about how you something about not being able to see it or something like that uh, uh, after a gunshot or some something. Uh, and I just like, you know what? Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna make it after the shot has fired or something like that. Yeah. Oh man, the the the, sh the skirt area. Ah, oh, we're getting to the skirt area. Oh my god. So here, dude, this skirt though, man. Like, I I have so many problems with this skirt. Look, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Uh, there's I I don't know if I deleted the other sketches of it, but. You know, whatever kind of thing. Yeah. Breaking down the process. Oh, there it is. This one. Oh, my God. You should just... Uh, if I had the rest of the body, you should just see how much it does not fit in, okay? It just does not. Uh, that, was, uh, that was, like, one of the hardest things that, like, got me stumped for uh, a long time. Did not know what to do with that. But in any case, so... Uh, yeah, a lot, of the, a lot of the sketches have been deleted. Uh, which is fine by me. I mean, I don't want that clutter. I have I already have way too much to deal with as is. You know what I mean? Like, there's just way too much stuff. But in any case, uh, more hair, as you can see. Uh, went through many iterations. Like, probably everything here has went through three plus iterations, which would have to mean that I redrew the entire drawing three times at least. And then, like, the rest of the specific stuff, like the gun itself and whatnot, would get, like, 10 or more. Oh, boy. In any case, that's the end of that. And, uh, and uh, that's the, basically the process of it. Um, uh, and, and there was, like, some effect stuff. So, as you can see, there was, like, a, this blurry Karuru thing, which was to, like, create a blurry after effects uh of her of her after image is an after image there you go a blurry after image uh while she's sliding uh that's that was the idea of that and so i'm just gonna close this do not save reopen it uh capsule capsule there it is and uh let's see it all again let's see it fresh you know okay that didn't take too long to reload the second time because I guess it already had it in its cache or something. Anyway, uh, and there you go. You see some After Effects kind of little bit of detail or like some blurriness, right? Uh, and you and you see the whole thing as it is with uh, with fresh new outlook uh, after after everything. Uh, but yeah. Um, I had that pro I had the background provided to me because I've never done backgrounds before, so you know, please understand, right? Um, and uh, the smoke, you know, I did edit. I did a lot of editing in the background. You, I, you may not understand or whatever kind of thing, but a lot of editing did have did have to be done to make it look the part uh, of something that like Kuru can actually be in, look like that she can, you know, be in this world kind of thing. <laughs> but in any case, uh, so yeah, I'm not a background artist, I'm, I'm a character artist. And even as a character artist, that was, that took a little, this took a little too long, too much, uh, re, re, too much work. Uh, one, one, like, one where I had to really go out of my way to level up as an artist by like 10 times to, to get done anyway. But yeah, and then you see like a little bit of a black outline thing going, right? Yeah. So uh, that was to make her look more prominent. Like without it, she blends with the background a little too much. So, uh, you know, it's good that, you know, she can, that she feels like she's part of the background, but like we don't actually want her to be part of the background we don't want her to like be too much like she's in the background kind of thing i guess we uh he want he wants her to pop out more okay so adding those black outlines uh what that was the purpose of it anyway to make her pop out more 
But in any case, uh, that I have, I've said everything that I needed to say about the process of this, but my god, I did not think it would take 50 minutes. I'm so sorry for that. But yeah, uh, at, at the very least, you know that I'm not an AI artist. <laughs> and that the, there was a good reason why this took three weeks. Uh, a lot of studying too, yeah. Uh, and whatnot, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll end it, I'll end it. Uh, maybe next time I'll talk about the other things that I that I went through, but I think that this is a good vlog. <laughs>